Hello everybody, it is Clash's Gut here with part 5 on how to make a tank shooter game. This will be the last video in the tutorial series and we're going to just do some small fine tuning and editing. So I edited this over here so now it shows the money it costs to actually upgrade it. So all you have to do is just go in here and type in it. So armor costs thirty dollars, attack speed costs thirty dollars, and mobility costs thirty dollars. So I'm just gonna go in, play this game, let the enemies kill us, and after they kill us, we will proceed into the shop where you can upgrade things. Now this done is as you can see a bit off centered so we're gonna ch set that x to 20 and of course put this in the forever loop oops that's a bit too much 10 yes 10 looks good pretty good so we don't want you to be able to upgrade these infinitely so let's go into here and i'm gonna add and Let's and speed is smaller than five, so we want five to be the maximum speed. So here we go, and let's do an if else and put it in if else. I also want to show upgrade unavailable. Else, so let's duplicate that. And say upgrade on actually not let's say unable. Let's make that a bit smaller. Want to center that again. So of course we want it to switch costume to costume one which is the upgrade sign else we wanted to switch costume to costume two so i'm just gonna let's go set my money to let's say five if i click on that it becomes unable so switch costume question two and wait one second so there we go so now if we do not have em enough money or the upgrade is over the maximum it will now show unable okay so we want to do this with every one of these so instead of going and doing the code all over again we just want to basically go in here and take that and into here and let's do get rid of that and we're gonna put the weight here and weight smaller than 0.2 actually let's make it 0.3 then we're gonna do that and uh, again if else put this into if there we go else we want to again another costume duplicate and we're gonna change that to on a well here we go now press shift there and then move it to the right a bit so it's centered want to switch costume to costume two wait one second and I also want to switch costume to costume one so there we go same thing unable 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 very good 
So, lastly, you need to do the armor. Let's go and smaller than. So, we want this to be. We can't want them to have so much health. So, let's say health smaller than. I think 50 is pretty good. Again, same thing as always. Go in here. Let's go on. Ooh. Unable. Do that. Center it. And then we're going to change that to an if else. So put that in here. Put that there. And we want to switch costume to costume 2. Wait one second. Or. There we go. Switch costume to costume 1. So now. Oh. Let's try this. So I have $100 right now. So I will be able to. Buy everything. However. As you can see. This is over here. Because we have a bit of a problem. We want these to go to front layer, go to front layer, and go to front layer, and we want the same with the done. So you can always see them on top of this. So let's say I'm just going to keep upgrading my mobility. Aha, see? Now I have zero dollars, so if I try to upgrade it, it switches to unable. Same thing with the other options. So if I don't have enough money, it will automatically just display unable. Cool. So if we go done, I can move very fast now. Which is very, very good. Now, I mean, cubes, they don't really look that good. So let's change it. I think we can make it same color. I like the color. Red is good. Except we want to make it a circle. Now we can get rid of those cubes. And let's give it some dark red arms. Make it, let's go 10. Oh, is 10. Yep, 10 is too big. Seven, seven's good. Cool. Seven, same thing. Dark red arms. Go like that. Now we want it to press back so you can't see it over that. Copy, paste, flip vertically. Same thing. Backwards. And put it somewhere over here. And then we want to turn it a bit so it doesn't look like that. The arms are touching each other. Make it look pretty good. So it actually looks like an enemy. Instead of a cube. So obviously you can go into the graphics and make it look better. This is just a basic video. So I'm not going to go into that much graphics. But of course I'm just going to make it look a teeny bit better with the tank. Let's see. Make that tad smaller. Same over here. Can move that away for now. Now, wanna go a slightly darker color. Make a bit of a rectangle here. And go forwards and edit it. So, oh no, not that. Edit it like that to make it a kind of this shape. Pretty good. Make that move a bit more over here. Want to copy paste. Let's go flip horizontally and change that to a slightly lighter color. Move it so it's around the edges here. And then we want to use the same color of the wheels. Hold down shift and make a perfect circle in the middle where we can put our cannon. There we go. 
make sure that circle is on top of all of the things and I think we can make that bit darker and that also a bit darker so that is probably it for the tank graphics and now I am going to make it bigger let's go 200 percent so you can actually see what we've done and of course I'm gonna go make a new sprite let's go I'll say just black and text you can choose whatever you want I'm just gonna keep using marker and let's gonna say HP one actually let's make that 10 nah start with one first duplicate two duplicate three duplicate four duplicate five six seven eight nine oops not that and ten that would be a very good way of making the HP look better however you have to go all the way up to 50 and I am not exactly feeling like that today so unfortunately it will take a lot more code to do this so let's just not do that but you could do that by yourself if you want to another idea is the same thing use that same kind of logic for the money maybe make the enemies faster so let's just instead of wait one second let's go 0.7 so yep they come a lot faster yep so it's actually a bit challenging of course there are many more things where you could take this game but for now I'm just gonna probably leave it here I'm gonna do one small playthrough and that is it for this tutorial series basically Doing some final testing. Yep, so it dies. Gonna increase its oh shooting speed, but that apparently says unable because we have something problem here. We don't want weight is smaller than 0.3, we want weight to be bigger than. Point three. There we go. And yeah, that is basically it for this. Thank you for watching with Clash's Gut. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Stay in tune for my next tutorial series on Scratch. This is the end for how to make a tank shooter game. So again, thanks for watching and see you later.